Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe and this is Work as and Resources Soviet Republic. Season 6? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, as you can see, the city is done. I don't have a name for it yet because I'm terrible at naming anything, but the city is done. That's exciting, right? So we can get some new citizens today. We can potentially get coal done today. And then I was thinking up something in my little brain that may or may not be fun here. I think we're going to revisit this whole public transport thing again with our next big city. I'm not going to lie, and why should I? I really like the drive-by of this city over here. It just looks, I don't know, it's not its not great. I did a little bit of detailing. You can see a couple trees there and there and there. Uh, the forest here. I did change my mind on the um, supply. I actually set up a warehouse and a meat storage. This is overkill because this city is not going to be very big, but I wanted it regardless. I didn't, I didn't want to pick up anything from the border once I need it, so... Um, there's that. This is hooked up to appropriate places in the, the distribution offices. And our happiness was a little low because, well, <laughs> we don't have enough grain to uh, do this. So I can I can play with this. But here, here's where I'm sitting with my, um, with my consumption. If I look at last year, if I just look at citizen facilities... I'm consuming 700 tons of food in this city, right? I am producing, and if you don't use this, I, I actually really like this screen. Um, if you, there we go. If you look at the production, we produced 3,226 tons of food. Not bad, right? Um, but it's not enough. Uh, well, it, it is enough, but we're also exporting. So the problem that we're running into is we don't have crops all year round because we're only producing about 7,000. This this should be about uh, one to two. That's the ratio of uh, crops to food. So um, yeah, this is how much crops we have. This is how much food we are producing and I'm exporting most of that. Well, um, because at some point I'm running out of it, I... Uh, have to import food again and that's really boring i don't like it because now we have the manpower for this because as you can see this is actually full this train is working i don't remember if i had this train already running last time we were here but that's the train <laughs> super cool right uh yes so i actually told this guy to load food at the border when it can but honestly i don't want that I don't want that at all instead i would like there to be crops here that always exist and this one we have two trains here. I don't think I had those last time. It was two or so years, maybe three years, until the city was done. So please pardon me. There were probably a couple of things that we missed. There's also a gas station there now because I use a diesel train to go from this city to this food factory. And the only gas station that was there was right here. It was not on the way and would have been really awkward to get there because there's no good way to turn around uh, for the... For the passenger train besides going all the way out to the coal area and getting fi uh, things figured out there. I didn't want to do deal with that. So I put a uh, fuel station in here just so that works. Someone probably made that comment already and that is great. Well, this guy is picking up food from here and it's unloading at the customs house everything that it can. And it's, wait, it's load, no, it's loading just meat at the customs house. We don't want that. So at this point, I would like to... Oh, okay, we can't do that. <laughs> we, we can't do that. Because there is... I was going to turn on grain imports on this, um, this rail distribution office, but when you do that, you're overriding the priorities. If you use the same distribution office to do things, then it will take from... It will load at the customs house last, and it will unload at the customs house last. Doesn't matter where it is in the list. It is true about 80% of the time. It's not perfect setup, but it works. But I'm currently having this guy uh, go out to the grain storages right here. Pick up the grain, bring it somewhere. Uh, where is it? Where are you? Um, none of those, none of those, none of those. Well, should, let's call this something. Grain one and uh, grain two. Yes, we do need that. A clicky sound from the typewriters because it's cool. 
So grain one and two, there they are. We're picking up from here. Uh, because I do that, I cannot, well, I could tell this guy to actually pick up grain from the border, but it doesn't have enough trains to do that. So what I'm gonna do instead is get rid of the grain pickups from here. I will add them to um, this distribution office because this is mostly sitting there with um, storage percentage. So this one, this one is zero. It's mostly sitting there with the boxcars that you see here. And I do not, I do not want to unload at the customs house for that. I just want to unload food. When we get, who's exporting food? Yes, you are exporting food. So this is happening there. But I also need to load crops because now when I load crops, I should never run out of crops again. Now this one, because it's going to try to unload at the board, I'm going to try to send it home and see if that overrides that thing. Control H, Control H sends them home. Always gotta say that. Oh yeah, I also put some trees in here. Looks pretty, right? Cool. Uh, what are you doing now? Uh, you're getting grain to the custom cells. I don't want that. Didn't I just turn that off? I don't know if I can override it for real. <laughs> I'll try it one more time and see what happens. But I have a feeling it may just make one run to unload grain and then it will leave me alone. Let's see. Do you, do you show up here? Do you show up? Um, the other thing we also have to do is currently this is not part of the drop-off. This this guy over here is the drop-off. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Um, and we only have one distribution office here, so let's call this uh, food grain delivery. Cool. Now I can actually find it, and that helps me a lot. So let's find the thing. And that also means we're unloading... Um, just busyness for uh, for that distribution office, and that should be nice. So let's grab this one, put that there. Let's make sure that you can unload here, and I want you to unload until... Actually, 50% is fine. We are talking about trains here, so that should not be a huge deal. Now you're picking stuff up. Oh, cool. It looks like the control H actually overrode the export that I didn't want anymore. That's wonderful. Let's make sure that this is all correct. Uh, customs house, yes, we can load crops. We are loading meat because that, that was the other problem because this station was set up in, a, in the way that it is. It counts everything as the storage capacity. However, this warehouse had too much storage or too much stuff stored all the time, which effectively overrode the full rate for the meat storage and that was not good because we ran out of meat. That also caused some happiness. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of stuff happened. So... Um, I set up a separate uh, um, office for that. There is still a meat truck sitting over here, but currently we're not using that, and it's just too painful to get these things moved. So, you know what? I'll just leave it. I'm not too worried about it. But this should work. We should not see a train coming from here, going to the border, picking up grain, until all of these grain silos are empty, which they are relatively soon, one of these can load about 250 tons of crops. That is fine. There are a couple of extra wagons sitting there, so we're not at the full length. Only 92 meters. We can have a 150 meter uh, long train, and that should be fine. So now we only have to pay for crops, everything else we're already producing. So this food factory should produce year-round at 100% of, um, well, potential, <laughs> and that should be really good. Great. Let's see how are things going over here. I did tell them to start um, just building things, which is awesome. I have this guy. I do not know if it will be enough. I also don't know. We, we should at least fill fill that one up. I also don't know if we will. Let's see, 80, 90. Give me, yeah, give me 80%. I also don't know if this will be enough to cover this area, but I do know. 223. <laughs> <laughs> this is painful. Why is that painful? Because 223 cubic meters of hot water. This one produces 210. We are so close, but no cigar. It's not worth it. It's it's not worth not using all the things that we can for, for this city. So I'm just going to make this a large heating plant, and then we don't have that problem. Uh, I'm glad I just looked at that because that was another thing that I almost forgot about, but now we are where we are. Does this work? Yeah, this works. Cool. Let's take that back. Just a couple ticks. 
um, take this one back a couple of ticks and I'm not terribly worried about being able to fit the heating plant in here that we want um, there it looks like the footprint is effectively the same as the small uh, small heating plant that we just took out so that is wonderful uh, triple checking everything um, I don't like where the footpath connection is right away but as long as we can make this function, um, that's all we really care about. So that looks good. Let's go down here, tell them to build that. That's all nice. Get all of this connected. Yes, we can get those pipes also connected. That is good. That one is already on. We just need to make sure that our heating pipe is on. And now here's the thing. Um, if this wouldn't have... A, oh, come on. If this would not... <laughs> oh oh you oh you game are you are you messing with me i've seen this before i've seen this before and people some people some uh, viewers some of you have told me about this bug before let's just see if we can address that somehow um for, for whatever reason the this building does not like, and now, now it's fine. Now I can put a pipe there. This building doesn't always like to connect the pipes the way they need to be connected to it. Uh, that's quite frustrating and it may have to do with landscaping, may have to do with something else. Right now it doesn't look terrible and now it looks terrible again. Why can you not, oh. Let's give myself a little more room here. Maybe maybe there's an actual physical limitation here that I am not aware of, but um, well, there we go. Now it should work. Now we should be happy. And give me this footpath. Go around here. Take that back a notch and then go around here again. And the distance should be just fine. Cool. So that works. I uh, don't have to worry about that. That should all do its thing. And these guys are here. I really wanted to uh, turn on the city so we can actually um, get our mine done. But as long as this heating plant is not uh, functional, we are in September. We are getting colder weather. 20 degrees is the minimum that you want to supply for your citizens. It's not worth it. It's not worth running into that risk of losing all these people right away because... It's workers, it's workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Workers are a, the most important resource that we get. Another thing that I did, I decided to just run a very long, and you can probably barely see this very long water pipe from our original city right here, uh, because we are currently only processing 50 cubic meters of water, and that is with a fully functional uh, food factory over here that needs high water quality to even function. So, what's going on here? Just making sure that this wasn't higher than it needed to be, but that looks fine. Cool. Um, and that makes me think we're picking up food here once we're at 90%. That's not necessary. Make it 50%. Thank you. Pick up food there whenever necessary. 50%, two and three tons. Is that right? 50% of this at 175. That's not a good train load, so I would like a little more than that. Make it 70, and then it's at least a full train every time. But that looks good. We have crops there. That's also good. We still have crops here, and they're obviously um, bringing crops in. I'm getting to some business stuff here pretty soon. Don't worry about it. Um, and this is my current setup. I did add one, two, three, four um, covered holes. I added three combines. Four, actually, I think, and I added three tractors to be able to actually harvest all of this. And it's, it's working fine. I don't think this is the worst or the best farm setup that I've ever had, but it's functional, and that makes me happy enough. So that all works. Great. So those guys are building this area. That's nice. Uh, yeah, sewage is there. Water is here again. These two water towers are just... Um, there's a water tower here. There's a water tower here. That should be enough to make everything function. We do have power here now, yeehaw. And they are doing okay, but yeah, this one, it just has 10 cubic meters more. If it would have done meticulous math, 
I may have gotten to the bottom of this sooner and I would have just built the bigger one, but it was an experiment anyways. And now we have money. No, I haven't done anything uh, facetious. No, that's not the right word for this. I haven't done any anything nefarious to get into money. This is just our normal economy and I can show you how that looks. Last year, export of resources, almost 4 million, which is mostly bauxite, uh, some food, as you can see, some gravel, some board, and some wastewater. Oh, I did turn off the wastewater nonsense because we do now have a loading and unloading station here for sewage, and the sewage trucks are actually going there. Um, there is a slight <laughs> uh, indentation in the ground here because I had to put a sewage switch there. And then we have water and sewage going here to our water area. That is all wonderful. So far, so good. I think I also may have moved the fire station. Um, this fire station is not in range of our farm. Barely not in range. This one, however, is in range of the farm. But this one, uh, the one over here, is not in range of our <laughs> uh, gravel industry, but this one is, so um, they're both there. We do have enough people to make this work, so that is okay. Grant. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. That's all working. This is what we're doing. Uh, we're we're going to get some people in here, and that's fine. I kind of like the setup of the city. Oh, the other thing that I did. I actually did set up these uranium mines. There are two. They are both together more than 100%, so I'm happy with having two sitting here. However, this is what it looks like. <laughs> we, may, we may try to build something on this mountain uh, relatively soon and just get uranium at least collected from here i'm not sure that i want to put the whole uranium industry here but maybe uh may maybe it's worth it to put some uranium processing in this area if the if the pollution is not terrible so processing plant 8.4 tons 8.4 tons it's not terrible it's not terrible actually but it does require 75 people which times three is a lot um but at least let's see here this one can can produce 75 tons of uranium ore per day? That can't be right. <clears throat> yeah, 75 tons of uranium ore per day. If I give it 100 uh, workers, this one can only consume 36 tons. So one of these running at 100% requires two of these processing plants. We have two two uranium plants that run at about 50%. Let's be, let's be realistic there. So it's really just one uh one total plant so yeah we would need two uranium processing plants i think that's that's what i'm going with so we would need 140 people times three is a lot it's almost 450 people that we need extra in this city to make that work um and i don't know if that's going to be a real solution or possibility but there's one way to find out if it is um this is a building that i almost never built city hall it will actually i think it will tell you unemployment in your city because you, it tells you the same stats that you can see throughout your republic, um, but it will tell you that for the city itself. And I think that's pretty neat. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, we, yeah, we don't have a city hall here either, and I think this, this general area looks like a pretty good place for it, so may as well plop one down here uh, while we're at it. Do you just fit? You can just fit make a, a weird um city campus where buildings are just plopped in the way they are but i i don't mind that get that get that get that that looks good let's make sure that our heating plant gets something on i'm 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 surprised to see that these guys are not done yet but um there's a lot of stuff here a lot of construction it will take a long time to complete and to make things working cool so now I'm looking at my little monitor over here. I hope you don't hear something, but um, I am on duty. So I need to make sure that I'm not needed for stuff uh, whenever I'm needed and looks looks good for now. Okay, the other thing, what bothers me a little bit is this. I'm always full of raw bauxite, always. What does that mean? That means currently we're not even, well, this is a different problem. This is this is a slightly different problem because I think that means we are well running relatively slow, but that's fine. This guy is not moving. Oh, you were moving gravel. That's silly. Uh, stop exporting gravel for the time being. Maybe maybe that's what we want to do. Custom cells. No more gravel for you. Cool. Just bauxite. Yes. And boards. Yes. Very good. Cool. 
Um, yeah, so this one is relatively full a lot of the... Uh, sorry, no, this one is not relatively full. This one is relatively full most of the time. Um, it's a little annoying. And here is the thing. If we look at the pricing, uh, let's get rid of that. Look at the pricing for ruble over here. This is the uh, ship and airplane export button, if you want to look at it. But if we look at bauxite, 126. Okay. If we look at raw bauxite, where are you? Uh, bauxite, 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 iron, raw bauxite. There, 68. If you do the math, that's about half, right? I am producing way more raw bauxite than I will ever need. And I'm not doing anything with it. Well, then I will ever need is not true because I'm not turning it into aluminum at this point. But there's bauxite sitting here and there are a lot of excavators over here that are not moving. There, there, There's one, he's moving. These guys are not moving at all. They're not producing anything because they can't store more. They're barely moving. This one is barely moving. Like. As you can see, there's potential here for doing a lot more than what we are currently doing. Like, you, you can see there's barely ever the conveyor belt on, on this side, and these guys are producing what they need to do. So what I would like to do is get rid of the excess. 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 <laughs> right here. Uh, we have those aggregate storage that we can do something with, and there's actually some room right there that we can uh, utilize. I don't need this footpath anymore, why not? Because this footpath was there to get workers from this bus stop over to uh, this fire station, which you may or may not have been here <laughs> but when I did that. But now this fire station gets workers from here, see, did that. Uh, and it's actually an eight hour turnaround. It's, it's pretty close to four hours each way for the train that runs there, which is wonderful because this train runs semi-full a lot of the time, not all of the time. And that is relatively helpful. So that's cool. What's going on here? I don't have as many people waiting there as I want to, but that's all, all right. I, I've been adding a couple more buildings here and there uh, for residents just because you need to every once in a while. I'm surprised that I'm still running at slow speed, but I, I guess that is what it is. Excellent. Now, get this exported. Should be relatively simple, right? Yeah, famous last words. I didn't set this... Th there would have probably been a way to set this up so that I can use just one aggregate loading um, dock. <laughs> Let's call it that. Uh, aggregate loading station uh, for all of them because we have three ends. Um, currently, I'm only using two of them. There, there would have been a setup if I wanted to to set up the raw box set as well. But we don't have that right now, so let's make something out of this. Uh, where are you? This may be a super simple setup. I really thought initially that this is going to be more complicated, but it may not be. And hey, every once in a while, that's okay. I do need the road connection on that side, otherwise I'm never going to get out of here. As you can see, the road that I have running there um, is making this a little complicated. Let's see, can I get... Can't get a good enough straight edge. I don't hate this. I don't hate this. It looks like it did give me one connection there. It's really close to it. That's not a problem. But this, yeah, it's ooh. <laughs> you saw it. Wow. Um, don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. We already have a relatively okay connection here for rail. Um, so let's see if we can get in here. Yes, we can. Right here. Right here is the connection that we want there. Let's get rid of this node because that's not needed for anything at all. Um, then you guys... It would be great if you stop using this road for just a little bit. If you have a lot of vehicles on your road all the time and you cannot delete road pieces like that, right? Um, what you have to do is actually just put a couple of waypoints in, put one in here and put one in here. Now you can sever your road uh, because it counts as a different segment. And we still have, let's see here. I don't think I needed to remove that. We still have this dirt road connection over here. So we're not severing the whole thing, but we're severing enough that I can actually build the railroad in here, which is important. Let's see. Um, I do want a simple double track station or double station, du station like this. Gross. 
Gross. Gross. Take this back a little bit. Move you over. Too sharp a return. That's not that's not accurate at all. Okay, well, it's fighting me a little bit, as usual, because why wouldn't the game do that? There are a couple options we have here. We could go straight in like something like this. Gotta get rid of this node again. Thank you. We could go straight in like this twice. Expect that this node to disappear. It's not disappearing. <laughs> uh, we could go in like that twice. Um, I think that is a option that is appropriate or we could like this. <laughs> this is one option. This is option number two. Honestly, option number two is a little more ugly than option number one. Just a little bit, not a lot of it. Just go with option number two. That's fine. And then as usual, now as usual, just add a little bit of extra in the end here. That looks fine. Get this one to connect somewhere. We could probably give me a little bit of straight piece here and then make this connection. And now we don't have to worry about um, this road connection anymore. That looks fine to me. So, yep, built that. Um, my rare construction crew currently has nothing to do, so they will be happy to hear this. Obviously, we still need a simple road connection right here. Make it a 90 degree because city planner place. Thank you. And um, where are you? There you are. There you are. Cool. This should get us things sorted, organized, done with. And that is very awesome. Where is our construction crane? There they are. They're actually doing things. Cool. Very good. So let's get that built just for a little while. We'll see what happens. Looks like our heating plant is complete. Make it high priority and then it should get done pretty fast. These guys out here are a little further, further behind, but that's also okay. Oh, I did, I did connect all of the footpaths that you could ever want for all of these things. So um, people could actually go places. Uh, let's do this, 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 and that should be good enough. Let's just grab all that we need so it shouldn't take very long to actually get completed. Wonderful. Um, that looks good. We have some trains sitting there. We have a train sitting there. Um, how's the bauxite? It is not full right now. Excellent. So things are looking okay. Let's let this run for a little while and see what happens. As you can see, it's no longer snowing. Um, yeah, I, I did let it run forward a little bit. I tried a couple other things, plus I decided I needed another distribution office. With this comes another problem, because I would like to export the raw box side because it's extra money. Um, but if we look at our border right now, there's generally already a train sitting here. And this is one distribution office effectively that brings train here, trains here. I think this is the second one. Yeah, with the crops. Uh, we're, oh, we're importing crops. I think this is the first time we're importing crops because this one is pretty low and all of these are out. And if we look at our economy trade for, uh, let's look at last year. We turned it on last year. So that should make sense. Import of resources, Soviet Republic or Soviet side, no grain, as you can see here, that's important this year. We just started importing crops. It's the second train that's importing crops. They're expensive. <laughs> wow. Um, we just started importing crops because we don't have any more crops sitting here. So that system is working, if you're wondering. Um, but yes, uh, adding another rail distribution office here should get us a couple things done. Um, I added a fuel station here because I had a lot of trucks actually come out to this gas station. Doesn't make any sense because there's another gas station right here to fuel up, which is really annoying. Another thing, just a bonus, I was gonna make a really short two minute video or so about if it's worth putting your um, distribution office here for the quarries or using trucks, direct like direct line trucks like I'm doing here right now. Obviously it's almost a little too full, but it's not terrible. I also started bringing fuel to these guys so that um, the excavators don't have to leave anymore. Maybe I can remove this gas station here uh, sooner rather than later. But I had comments before, not in this season, about using a distribution office for bringing gravel from a gravel quarry to the gravel plant. And in vanilla, this does not work. Why doesn't it work? Because 
The internal storage here, the aggregate storage import is only 10 tons in vanilla. If you do the V2, I think it's 50 tons and it works a lot better. But in this case, it doesn't work because the distribution office will only look at how much is currently stored at the next building. And if the answer is uh, less than a truckload full, <laughs> whatever you put the percentages here, it makes no difference because uh, every truck that will go will fill this up to 100% or more. So if you use a distribution office in this setup, the distribution office will only send one truck at a time to fill up the uh, quarry and it will effectively not send another truck until um, that truck returns. So it's very inefficient. Right now I have uh, six quarry offices. I added one truck each uh, for each setup. So we have 12 trucks running now and I can tell you that we are producing a lot more. I know that, and I don't know if I started this open because I ran this in between. If you look at last month, um, production wise for overall, uh, quarried stone, 800 tons. Sounds right. March. Yes, I bought these in March. Let's look at what it is in uh, for this month. Once we get done, we're already at 450 tons and we're barely into June. So um, I know that before I had about a thousand tons of quarried stone produced. Don't worry, there was always um, space here, so it wasn't it wasn't blocked by anything. But about a thousand tons. I think with this setup right now, we will be a lot faster. I did not take this one down because we may use it for something else down the road. Uh, I just don't know what that is yet. But that's that. And I'm really just babbling on so that... Ooh, this rail distribution office is done. That's exciting. I'm really just babbling on so we can get a lot of this stuff done because as you can see, the coal mine is still being worked on and it's not ready yet. But we can actually speed this up now because we have coal sitting here. It is not super cold. 18 degrees is almost close to good, not perfect. Um, but we are in a pretty good spot to just start inviting people in here. So um, I don't know a good name for coal, uh, coal mining town but i really like the look of this let's take another picture of this uh-huh yep f12 f12 is the screenshot thingy i like it you don't have to like it don't worry about it i'm not offended uh but i like how this looks and it's nice and green i probably need to do something on the outside maybe i put a put a little wall up how about that that'd be great no um but yes what we're gonna do now is just start inviting some citizens never invite all of them right away uh, you want to wait a little bit. Here we have the thing again with the train sitting there. I think if I add the other distribution office, I just have to add a couple signals here so we can actually handle more trains, but we will overload this relatively fast, and I'm a little scared about that. But let's get some citizens in here so we can start moving things along a little faster. Um, yeah, just, just do a handful. Let's see here. Let's just open a couple of these buildings, and we're just going to fill up all of these. Uh, I don't want to um, invite more citizens right away simply because once you have a problem, it's really hard to um, fix that while things are running, at least fix it in a timely manner. So let's just keep inviting these. We will invite a couple uh, NATO, NATO uh, citizens if we can. Uh, not right now. Well... Actually, no, let's start with just normal workers. As you can see, we don't even get educated workers in here as much, and that is fine. Because once we have all this set up, we also have to set up a, uh, let's do this, couple, couple NATO ones. We also have to set up train lines for these guys to actually get what they need. Cool. So we have turned on, um, allow citizens to move in here. I'm not gonna mess with these numbers. I think that's the next city that I wanna play with, but not right now, but let's see where they all go. School, that's good. We have a lot of kids. Uh, police station, that's fine. Minor crime, we'll take care of it. Here we have a couple of um, fire stations sitting there and this one has fuel, that is excellent. I did buy, before we moved in here, um, the, the, the vehicles that we needed to make all of this work. So that should be okay. You, obviously, uh, currently we're not doing anything with you uh, because power. This one is actually at the max of, of this line because what do we have? Uh, 2.35 megawatts, so we still have a little bit left to, uh, left to go, which is which is very nice. Uh, the shop is a little full for what we have right now, but I'm okay with that. Rather this than the other way around. And now we can look at our unemployment. So actual population, 1100, almost 1200, which is nice. Uh, birth deaths, immigrants. Yep, we just invited this many and they brought 400 children of them. Maybe that's a good ratio for you to think of. We don't have a lot of educated workers. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. 
What I really care about is unemployed workers. Not a ton. And we also have a lot of people waiting here, and that's fine. Okay, so let's let's make sure. Yes, they don't have any problems. Oh, that lets me uh, go to another thing. These have almost no problems. What's going on with that? No, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about that in just like two minutes. Two minutes, and I will tell you exactly what's going on there because it's actually pretty exciting. Um, let's get a couple train sets. First, do remember how many workers we needed here. We need uh, 200 for the coal mine, I believe. Metallurgy? Not iron mine. Fossil fuels, yes. Uh, coal mine. 220. 220 workers for that. Plus, um, we don't have fire trucks here. Let's fix that. I want this one, this one, this one. Here, I would warn or I will tell you use more trucks than you think that you need because coal actually burns hotter. So these uh, coal processing plants may burn down if you don't supply enough workers for it in the first place. So just overdo it a little bit. Um, but three of these at 36. So 220 plus 36 is 256. Cool. Uh, plus 15 here and 15 here. Uh, that is another 30. So about 300 people. About 300 people should be all we need. They will not always be uh, perfectly full. But 300 people is the number that we care about. This one has 330, uh, 330 passengers, and it's the only one that runs on fuel. And it does not fit. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny, but uh, fair enough. We can we can make things work. It will just take a little longer to actually uh, get everything in here. So let's. It's I I don't know why it's so funny. It's just very funny to me. It would be cool if there was a tram that actually works on fuel. I think back in the day it was probably running on fuel. I mean, I can't imagine it was always the way it is right now, but that's fine. Uh, Metro, cool. Motor wagon, yes, we could just use three of these. They will definitely do the trick. Um, they're also fuel that can run 120 kilometers per hour. I like these, I like these a lot. So give me one of these and give me two passenger cars. That's really what I'm doing um, at the main city right now. These are 155. That would be way too many. 125, I need one that's around 100. This one is honestly, why is this one so cheap? 25 meters, 25 meters, it's really light. Sure, uh, give me two of you, and then I would like a city, city train. Uh, 100 people is probably fine. How many passengers do we have standing here? Just about 100, so yes, just another, no. No, give me, give me a city train that runs with that. And I'll explain to you what I mean by city train in just a second. Where is my motor wagon? There you go. This one's just too slow, otherwise I would use that. And now we will tell our trusty little guy here not to go to the train distribution office anymore. I just need you to go up here and back here. And we will probably have to tell you that three or four times before you actually do the things that we need you to do. To make our life just a little easier, let's take the wagons that can actually move by themselves so that the train only has to pick up the passenger cars, which is what we care about. And then we should be in a pretty good spot, I hope. Are you moving? Yes, you're moving yourself. Very good. Let's triple check over here. There's a traffic jam over there. I have a guess I know where this is, but let's just double check because it's the only, only place where I use this wagon. Yes. This is the problem that you run into, and I'm glad I'm checking this. Uh, this is a problem problem that you run into if you use wait until loaded and wait until unloaded, like so, uh, because sometimes your excavator will leave if there's no fuel inside the quarry itself. So, yeah, fixing this. There's only one parking spot. Now with the excavator being here, getting fuel afterwards, we should no longer have that type of problem. The only thing that required was adding a power source, which I did a permanent one instead of using a windmill in this case, because if an excavator needs power and the windmill is currently not supplying enough power, they will just not um, get any fuel and we'll go to the freeze gas station anyways. And we don't want that, so this should be fine. Looks like this guy needs to get a couple more things done. Very good. Um, let's see here. You need to be assigned to that. That's fine. You still have a little bit of work to do. That is also fine. And our trains should probably start showing up in just a second. I just want to make sure that we have um, the worker numbers or the, the problems kept low. I don't want to fill up all these buildings, but we need about a lot of, a lot of people. 
we need a lot of people um, actually um, available for work. Just the way it is. Let's get a couple NATO side members and a couple NATO members in this one. Uh, yes. And here's the thing. Uh, in the first city that you have, you help too low. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I did add, sorry, I did add a hospital, just a small one that is modded just for here, just for right now, because um, this, I probably don't need that many workers here, because I didn't want to put the huge hospital here. And this is more than sufficient, even with two ambulances, as long as we see the patients getting in there the way that they need to. I don't see any real problems with that. But we have some modded buildings. We have this um, secret police building and this hospital over here sitting there, but I kind of like it. Okay, how many citizens do we have? 1,800. How many do I think, or did I say in the beginning that we needed? About 2,200 or so. Uh, right now we have 200 people unemployed. That is a pretty good start, I think. Let's tell this guy to go again and get me some more vehicles. We can set up the first one. Um, actually, I would like one more wagon, then I'll set up that one. Because I would like this to get more workers, because that's currently what's slowing down this construction on the coal mine. It's very, very, very heavy on um, on workers, on nothing else. So if we can actually get a couple workers in here, that will all speed up everything that we care about, and that will be wonderful. Yay, they actually completed this. I like it. If this becomes a problem for whatever reason, I can actually continue the line um, for here. Which will be cool, right? <laughs> Uh, there's also another thing uh, that, I, that I'm considering. I don't think I'm going to do it, but you could set up a um, export hub right here. If you want to stay with trains only, you could set up a hub that can receive every cargo that you want and is big enough to receive a lot of trains, meaning more than one, uh, one st station. Yeah, more than one station. Um, and that would allow you to... Well, um, stash materials somewhere here with bigger or smaller trains. And then you have two or three or five trains in a separate distribution. I was just making runs from that location always to the border. So you only have those five trains going to the border all the time. Everything else just gets collected in this bigger storage area that you could put somewhere in this area. It has to be uh, before this fuel station, really, because our rail yard export starts right there. But that's just one option. I much rather go with ships because they're more fun. How are we doing here? Students, all that stuff, that's good. That train is still parked there, so it's not gonna happen just for a little while longer. Yeah, we don't need heat, so I don't have to worry about that yet, but we will get there soon. Okay, uh, the thing that I promised you, we have not a lot of problems. This guy has a pub tavern problem. Um, why ever that is, I don't know. And some people complain about churches, but no other real problems. So what's going on here? It is these two guys, because all these numbers are positive. You can tweak these, tweak these to an amount where it's good. I would highly recommend you always start with loyalty first. Get your loyalty up. Once your loyalty is 60% is not terrible, it's also not great. Uh, but once your loyalty is up high, uh, you can start concentrating on the other things. If all of them are green, you're continuously adding. This is an additive. So I think this is... Every day? No. Every month? Maybe. Uh, the number that you see here gets added to your citizen's persona every month. And that's a good thing, because if you increase sport, um, health is better. Your health is affected. And we had 87%, which is pretty nice. Alcohol addiction is fine. Average lifespan is fine. Pollution, effectively non-existent. It's pretty good. Um, culture. Culture is a good replacement for other problems. For example, church. If they want to go to church, can't go to church, but they have the chance to go to somewhere where there's culture offered, they may go there. Not every time, but every once in a while. Happiness should be self-explanatory. Happiness is good. And um, yeah, there you go. I do the same thing over here. If loyalty doesn't get negatively affected, that is good enough for me. And as you can see, people that go to prison now are less criminals, go to culture more, will get some loyalty improvements every once in a while, and are happier when they come out. What is not good about that? And you can, again, tweak this. I, I prefer keeping all of it green or black. I don't want any red numbers here, so that's what we're going to play with. Cool. Uh, let's see. Are you ready to do something useful now? Uh, go. Is this my... This is my city train, so let's set that one up first. 
City Train, I want you to go from here, load. Yes, I only want you to load. I don't want to load workers. All I want to load is students, passengers, and tourists, which we will never have there, but that is a different problem. Then go out here, and I just want you to unload those same people, and we are good to go. I could set up a separate run out to here with uh, workers, but for that I need to see how many workers we actually have waiting here. 200. That's honestly not that many because once we have the second food production running, um, that's not a lot of workers. So let's just get that one going while we can. And you will get um, the other, the older wagons and that should be fine. Cool. What else do we have here? Um, <laughs> I could talk about my next plan while I'm telling you um, bye bye. <laughs> that's, that's always an option. Um, I do have a lot of excavators here just because I was adjusting the mountain a little bit. I, mm, why don't we just do this? What'd I say? We're not going to transport a lot of material here, are we? But let me, I, I haven't set up a uranium setup in a very long time. So you produce 75 tons of uranium ore um, with two. Both of these uranium mines together will produce about 75 tons because they add up to about 100% quality. Okay, so 75 tons of uranium ore. That's not a lot. Because, what can a wagon carry? I, I really don't know, so I'm going to look. Cargo wagon. Can you carry 60 tons of uranium ore? So that's one wagon of uranium ore can carry that, that stuff. So we could even run, with this, uh, run this with trucks if we really wanted to. That's just something to keep in mind. Okay, advanced industries. Then uranium processing plant turns... I'm doing this because I wanted to see what connection is on there. So we have uranium ore coming in and then a factory connection to get the, um, what's it called? Uranium oxide out. It's an open space storage. The open space storage is um, this one, I believe. And it has uranium oxide on there. Okay, 198 tons can fit into the small one. And you produce at max consumption of effectively half of what we can so we need two of these uranium processing plants at half of produce uh, uh, half of the production we can make 1.7 tons of uranium oxide okay um as you can see here we're now at 200 people plus another 75 times two that is 350 people yes that, that was math i'm just adding up the maximum number of workers to have 100 percent production which we don't necessarily have to have but we're now at 350 workers. To fill for three shifts, you need about a thousand. And that's where the fun stops. I don't have a thousand workers available here. There, there's no way, because right now, the way we're set up, and I'm not I haven't optimized this yet, to be fair, right? But the way it's set up, I have 200 unemployed workers. I have not started moving them around because this was not quite ready yet, but now we're gonna start moving them around. I want you to go from there. Um, sure, you can load and unload here. And all I want is workers. Do I need educated workers? I don't need educated workers in this case, but I don't want to not pick them up because at some point you, your city usually overflows with educated workers versus non-educated. Right now we're at about 50-50, which is good, uh, but that's going to change soon. So you can come over here, unload 100%. That sounds great. Go. Uh, let's see that train leave. Ooh, pretty train. Um, I should say that, hey, um, this is still, what, what are we now? Two years old. This channel is about two years old, a little more than that, almost two and a half. Um, and, well, it's going well. If you like the kind of stuff that I'm doing, and I know I don't do as much as I sometimes do, but sometimes I do more, and trust me, I always try to do more things, uh, just for you guys, because I enjoy this, and as long as you enjoy this, that's bonus. Um, I have a Patreon. You want to come hang out there? I still am terrible at giving you all the extra stuff, which means you can tell me what extra stuff you want, because if it's something that it can actually accomplish, I would love to do that. That, that would be great. That's exactly what I want, and 123 people, it's not as much as many as I wanted to, uh, but that's fine. We have a limit of 1,500 there, so I'm not terribly worried about it yet, but this will overflow at some point, and then I have to mess with, with this. Not right now, though. Uh, yes, so if you want to come to my Patreon, please, please, please come hang out. The, uh, the link is in the description, and uh, you are more than welcome to do whatever you want there. And at the minimum, 
If you want to, you can uh, join the intro honor roll is what we call it. Uh, and at the maximum, you can steer what we do on Patre Patreon and in the channel itself. Hope that's exciting for someone. Anyways, uh, this all seems to work fine. We now have workers here at the heating plant, so we are filling up our heat tanks. There's the needle, it's moving, which also means this needle should be moving. Wonderful. That's exactly what we want to see, and people should be relatively happy. Also expecting that we have a lot of workers sitting here. You cannot use mechanisms for the mineshaft production, so this is just going to take a little while. The other thing we should keep an eye on, uh, on is this. Once this water goes down a lot, not just a little, we're talking about a lot, we have to adjust it here. Right now we're doing just fine. We're producing about 70 or so uh, cubic meters of water. We can produce up to 300. So there is a lot of potential still sitting here uh, that we don't have to worry about yet, but we are not quite there yet. But for right now, we're doing just fine. So this water plant can easily handle the 10,000 people that we have now, but I don't know how much it actually can handle when we are done with it. How are you guys doing? Uh, coal mine, processing plant, almost done. Uh, processing plant almost done and gas station how are you not done yet <laughs> there's not that much that goes into that so oh well that's all fine uh the other thing that we need is we need to move um coal coal has to be moved into here at the very least and i don't know that we need anything else but currently we have our coal, uh, coal delivery set system set up with this distribution office from the border that's the only thing this does. That's a good start, that's a good setup, but we need more. Once we have coal in here, we actually have to deliver it to this area so we can produce power and heat because, hey, why not? So we need some way of actually um, moving that stuff around. So uh, distribution office is what it is. We have a loading station here. You can send a truck in there to load itself. There's actually two spots here. That's, that's very generous. So two trucks can load here at the same time. Do it here. Don't do it in here because in here they use shovels and here they use conveyors. <laughs> it's just an analogy. It's really slow in the storage units, um, but it's really fast in the uh, loaders. So uh, take advantage of that. So what we need to do here is set up a distribution office. We have 12 parking spots or five. That's the only thing I look for in a difference here. Five for power and heat is maybe enough. Maybe enough for the whole year because we're going to fill up the storage that we have here over time and actually if we do that may as well make this an actual um gravel road because we can set that up cool um so five vehicles may just be enough because i know that three of these dumpers are enough for one um for, for a winter we're getting pretty low but they're enough for the winter and then they could run through the, uh, through the summer, but if we actually burn that into power, um, then that could cause troubles too. What is, where, where are you? You're over here, I'm hoping, what's the unhappiness? 48%, no food, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's food here. Huh, hmm, there's more than enough stuff there. You have clothing and food. That's not what I want you to pick up. I want you to pick up, uh, let's do clothes for you. Okay. What do you have? You have meat, that's that's okay. You have both of these again. I want you to take out electronics and you, ah, that's my problem. I did not set them up correctly. Uh, food and uh, delete your current storage. Thank you, go. That's minor inconvenience, uh, which is why I should have paid more attention to that in the beginning, but I didn't, obviously. So now I need you to, to pick up food quicker. I could probably just send it to this one, to the warehouse directly. Um, that may be a little faster, but yeah, once you get here, happiness should be fine again. And some of the passengers are probably able to make it to the main, or to the, to the other city. How many are you transporting? Cool. Uh, should be able to make it to the other city and uh, get their food taken care of there. There you go. Now we have food and this should figure itself out in no time. Wonderful. I like how that works. Cool. What else do we need to do? Well, once these are done, 
Once these all are done, we should have actual coal production happening, and then we can do things. Oh, I just I did I I wanted to put a distribution office over here. Um, side note: It's always better to put them next to the source than next to the destination. Um, it's just infrastructure. Is there something below it? There is something below it. That's not supposed to cause issues. Um, I guess it's just a matter of it's too close to the surface and fine. Actually, if I put you there, I'm, I'd rather put you here because your first trip is to get to this building and then you're just leaving. It's not the perfect setup, obviously, uh, but it's good enough. Do we have power here? We even have power there. Oh, that's wonderful. Little bonus. There we go. How are you doing? Um, good. Let's see, let's see this drive through. Yeah, and that's, that's what I have for right now. Next time, we will start a huge project, um, which requires a lot of planning, some explanations, and um, maybe a little luck. The only thing that I have now that I normally don't have when I play is already a ton of money. I usually don't make this much money this early on in the season, which was part of the experiment that I wanted to run here, just to make sure we're getting everything that we need and so far it looks fine so that makes me feel good now i have to make sure that we have people that can actually get here yeah we have too many students waiting for professors so just increase that so we don't have that general problem loyalty uh for students let's lower that a little bit so the new students can uh, in this city uh can actually do something something useful too we don't even know what their loyalty is yet uh 56 percent okay that's not bad uh, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're gonna do something it has to do with this general area. I have some ideas of what exactly I want to do. I'm not completely sold on everything yet, but I think you're gonna enjoy it because I will. So you, you should too. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time and bye for now.